let's use artificial intelligence to create a backend. We're going to be doing this using BuildShip, which is a brand new exciting tool that allows us to create and deliver complex backend solutions using the best of the low code and the no code world. Here we are in our project. We've got a couple of workflows already. You might be familiar with these. We're going to be expanding on our brand new workflow using a trigger. And we've got lots of ways to use triggers. We can have a REST API call, a Telegram bot, a cron job, or even Stripe webhooks. But we're going to stick with a REST API call. What we're going to do is have an API where we can give it through a search parameter, a GitHub username, and it's going to return to us the latest 10 repositories only with their name, URL, and number of stars. And we're going to write little to no code for this. It's going to be really exciting. Fab, so we've got our REST API call. Now we're going to have our first node added. And in other videos, we've used different types of returns and processing or even integrations with existing services. But for this video, we're going to generate this entirely with AI. And this is going to be written in a prompt. So I need a node that, comma, given a username variable, fetches the latest 10 repositories of that user from GitHub and returns their URL, repository name, and GitHub stars. And now we're just going to let that process. Amazing. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and take a look at the code that was generated for us. And remember, this was done with artificial intelligence. So if you're not familiar with JavaScript, don't worry, we'll walk through this real quick. So it's generated us a function that takes in that username, fetches the latest 10 repositories from that user, and replies with a mapping of the HTML URL of the repository, the name of the repository, and the number of stars. And we did that only by writing a little bit of prose. Isn't that amazing? It's even generated a variable for us. And we're going to use this to get that query parameter from our REST API endpoint. So I'm going to click here and go on expression. And now I'm just going to extract from our query the username. Amazing. So we're almost done. We've got our API node. We've got our fetch request. Again, generated with AI. What we're going to do next is have a return node that returns with a 200. Of course, we want to know that everything worked. And we're going to have the value come from the GitHub repositories node. We are almost ready to deploy. But there's one more thing. You can see here I've got a couple of workflows. And just having this come from the main root path doesn't make so much sense anymore. How about we call this one repo? That way, we're going to give our backend users a sensible name. So with all of that done, let's go ahead and deploy our workflow. Great. Now that that's deployed, let's copy our URL and stick that into our browser with the username set to be free code camp. One of my favorite accounts. And there we have it. Some JSON with the URL, the name, and the number of GitHub stars for FreeCodeCamp's latest 10 repositories. And once again, you can see we're just scratching the surface of what's possible of using these prompts to create our nodes. And I didn't even have to parse the GitHub API. I just trusted BuildChip to build this for me. Tune in next time where we'll build other kinds of backend solutions. Bye for now.